Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be continuing my Let's Play videos of Vampire. Okay guys, well, so I'm in that situation of... Well, I've just finished the last bit. I found, um... Who was back blackmailing the, uh... Oh god, what was her name? Lady... Oh god, get, I've got to get used to the buttons because I keep changing games. Uh, Lady Ashbury, I believe it was. Actually, I want to do these guys' quests now, so it's back. Let's track that one for the minute. I think I might be good enough to do this. So let's go do missing ingredients. Before I go off and do the main quest. So let's make my way down. Um, I don't know if you saw in the last video, I got myself some more abilities. I wonder if there's a bit I can show you my abilities. Uh, yeah, I got some other bits on my powers. Also, you know, been upgrading certain bits as well, so... Okay, so I also... Right, so let's make my way back this way. Watch me probably get killed trying my luck, but I've got a better understand... Actually, before I do anything, that's to run, right? I just gotta get myself used to the buttons again, guys, otherwise it's gonna be a short game. Is there anything in here I may have missed? Nothing flashing? Nope. Okay, so let's go off and do some investigating. So I'm gonna quickly just try and get this, this side mission done. If once I get that done, I'm Oh, let me look my way over here. Let's go let's look up. Let's go up here. Is there a it's locked. Okay, I do actually hate that light. I don't actually need to fight them, so I don't want to. If I can help it. Okay, let's do that for a second. So, no, it's not the way I want to go. I want to go a different way, so let's work my way this way. If I just avoid them, they won't attack me. So you don't actually have to fight everyone. Sure. Yeah. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm stepping away. Just like you're asking me to. Okay, let's turn that on for a minute. What level are they? Oh, I could probably take these two on. What about the other one? Yeah, I think I can do this now. When I tried to do this before, I was a lot lower. Sleep spotted! Watch out! Oh, that was terrible! Okay, let's do that. Let's pick that up. Watch it! It's a killer! Okay, so what do they drop for? Oh, something over here. Screws. Oh, that was, actually came from him. Oh, good. Any more medical supplies around here? Let's try and grab that. Now, I'm a little annoyed at myself because... I started off as bad as usual. Okay, so it's in here I know I need to go, and I think he's got a couple of friends with him in here. If I remember rightly, so if I could just That's the one I gotta kill, but I've got to try and kill him quick as well. What is his weakness is Right, so I need to let's put that around me. Let's walk slowly for a minute. Kill myself. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to be a bit more careful, and I'm not being as careful as I would like to be at this minute. Okay. 
Got to move, got to move, or I'm dead. I've got to move or I'm dead. Let's eat him quick! How I survive that, I don't know. And I've... Excellent, excellent. Okay, so... Order by doctor... Uh, ingredients. Okay, let's Oak go back. is one of the main ingredients of Strickland's medication. Never a good move. Right, did any of them drop anything for me whilst I've murdered them? Good, good, good. I've got some other bits. Okay, so let's go back to the hospital. Sorry, guys, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, didn't actually do as well. Didn't do as well as I thought I was going to. But that's not a big problem for me. So I've just got to go back to the hospital now. So I don't need to fight people, so make my way this way, then cut inwards. I don't want to move myself too quick. Otherwise, certain people get Sir, aggressive. That's what I've done. Don't worry, guys. I've stepped away. Oh, was there anyone that needed healing? I can't remember. I might, might be able to. I'll do that in a minute. The long Strickland's not trying to tell me to go somewhere, so let's... Actually, I should run, really. It's quicker. Right, let's make my way into here. Sorry if I'm going quiet for a second, guys. I'm just... I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Okay, so let's go to personal question. Uh, I have value my... Okay, let's go back. The life in London. Tell me, Waverley, what do you think of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. Now that, sir, is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure, but my young colleague obviously disagrees. Okay, so let's go back for a minute. Oh, wait, wait. Tell me, Waverly, what do you think of Dr. Should Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental should actually research? Ask, should answer Strickland something. is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. Sorry, guys. I now got out when I shouldn't have. Is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure, but my young colleague obviously disagrees. Okay. Is your rivalry blinding you? Why would you lead? Why do you wish to lead this surgery? I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. I trust your judgment. I will assume your consequence. It, it's a convincing viewpoint. It, I will assume you. I will assume the consequence. You will. If you are going to lead this surgery, I am trusting you to assume the consequences of your actions, whatever the result. I am not the kind of man who runs away from his responsibilities, Doctor Reed. There is no need for you to be looking over my shoulder. Let me ask this one. And are you not afraid that your rivalry with Strickland may be blinding you? Rivalry. I guess you could call it that. But I will never be childish enough to let my personal feelings affect my judgment. Hmm. Interesting. Now I'll come out. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Right, so where is he? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did Strickland go? Where 
He's in here somewhere. Oh, he's this way, is he? Is he... Oh, what's this? Dear love, I finally found the missing money for the fee asked by the ambulance driver to bring you to the hospital. Don't worry about nothing. Now, ex except getting better, for I'll take care of everything. I've asked some of the neighbours and they've told me that this Mr. Hooks is something of an honest crook. He may ask for extra money in exchange for a bed, but the bed is, but the, but the bed is then guaranteed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I refused to to pay uh, first pay. I realise now the importance. The important thing is that you get better soon. Primbert Hospital is a good place. I've heard, despite the bad behaviour of this Milton Hooks. I promise you that everything. Everything is okay now, and I'll see you. I'll see you in your clean bed as soon as I, uh, as possible. My for uh, my fondest love. Okay, let's go back. Oh yeah, well I'm I'm robbing the dead. Kind of seems a bit naughty, but it is what it is. Ah, oh, there he is. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? I located the shop, but it was vandalized, and the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you ordered. Opium, sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to cure. This dreadful influenza, of course. I already ran some tests on hopeless cases. Without success, I must admit. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? However, if you would agree to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments, I may try to gather these substances and even help improve upon the mixture. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. Let's ask a personal question. I want to know about these secret tests you run and if they can save people from this epidemic. Speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague. But only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. Yeah, my support. Uh, you may not take a break. Don't you think we have enough work already? Perhaps now is not the best time to be chasing shadows. Chasing shadows, really? It's funny those words coming from the only doctor here who has spent more time outside this hospital than in. Oh, I like the sort of comeback they had there. That's a question. Go back. Life in London. Okay, let's. Just say goodbye, goodbye, Doctor Strickland. Right, so I've got myself forty more. I can't let Strickland put his patients at risk with opium. Perhaps an adjusted formula will deliver more of a placebo effect. Right, so I think I've got to go into my room, to my workstation now, and work on my bench. And if I can get head stuff for headaches, that would even be better. Uh... Okay, so what am I doing? Gather the ingredients. Uh, bring sodium. Bring some, and bring six units of. So what would I be making?
Uh, I've got to find this ingredients. All right. Uh, I'm going to go knock on the main doctor's door, see if there's anything I can get from there. Okay, let's see what I can find. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I analyze the blood. The samples were different in France. It's obvious. I never saw symptoms like this when I was in France. Not at all. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation, once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here, but it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. You see, dangerous. My, I may turn London into my realm. I admit, it did occur to me. Blood seems to be the common factor in all of this. I totally agree. We're in uncharted territory here. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but imagine the possibilities. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. Okay, so has he got anything? Because, like, literally, I can just take things. Okay, what's this? Uh, rare species of vampires. I'll read that another time. I'm a little tired, and I don't think that's going to go really well. A warning letter, dear Doctor Swan. I have informed you that my deepest. Okay. Seems to be a lot of these here. Ah. Anything over here? No. Okay. I was just hoping there'd be more medical supplies or something, because I need to find some of that stuff. Well, let's go speak to the um, Indian gentleman, because uh, he sells some medical stuff, so I might be able to find some. Oh, there's something over shining over here. Let's open this up. Sodium, uh, yeah, I've got the sodium now then. What have I got then? Let's have a I'm look in my. Never oh, thought let's have a look in my bag. Let's, let's go over here. So, okay, so I've got the. Right, the sodium. Right, so I've got that. Okay, let's come back. My murdered sister's funeral. One unit Mary. of. I can't forget. Person. Go back. Uh, 
Oh, so I've got that as well. So I need six or something else. Of... I'll find the truth about what happened to us. And bring six units of... Uh, Gavi, and bring six units of... Okay, so let's go back and have a look, see if I've got that. Sorry, guys. I have that, so I should be able to do whatever needs to be done here. Right, let me work my way back, because I have everything that's needed. Let's see what is it I actually need to do then. Let's go here. Right, so... Well, one, one, is it a one? Is that it? So what am I making? Because I've got everything else. Let me just make one of these quickly. And let me make one of those quickly. I'm going to do that quick as well. And let's see if that's done what I need. But I have everything, it says. Bring, uh, gather the... Egg. All right, let me go see if I can go talk to him. I need to go find something. I'm, I'm a little confused there, guys. I'm trying to work out what I'm doing wrong. Okay, gather the ingredients. Uh, bring one unit of... Okay, so I think I need to go talk to him, and I've probably just wasted a load of the ingredients that I actually had. I'll quickly go downstairs. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Personal question. Tell me, Thoreau, what's the real cause of your dislike for Dr. Aykroyd? He refuses to admit that your blood transfusion technique is the only way to save Mr. Fiddick. I'm convinced we must use it. What Dr. Aykroyd really said is that you lack the skill to perform this operation efficiently. Is there anything you have to say about this? It's a false conceit. Dr. Aykroyd secretly envies your reputation. His jealousy blinds him. I'm not the real target here. Hmm. Uh, about running... I want to know about these secret tests oh, you run. Really yeah. And if they can save people So let's try and find epidemic. if we can find another way around Speak this. Speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague. But only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. Don't you think we have enough work already? Perhaps now is not the best time to be chasing shadows. Chasing shadows, really? It's funny those words coming from the only doctor here who has spent more time outside this hospital than in. Okay, let's Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Because I had all them ingredients, I just don't know. Maybe I've, I've got to find them. I'm going to see if I can go buy them quickly. So I need sodium. Uh, press. Okay, let's see. A good doctor friend that's around here, which he's over there, isn't he? Let's make my way there. I have to make way to Whitechapel in a minute anyway, so let's just talk to him for a minute. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Uh, let's see if there's any personal questions. Let's go back. Let's go. Tell me the truth about your appointment as a medic during the war, Rakesh. The regiment administration appointed me by mistake. I had to learn the job on the spot, sir. Very hard, sir, but I rose to the challenge. Oh, ah, that's not a good thing to hear if you're... Oh, you should have refused. You 
can't improvise. You can't impersonate a doctor. You can't improvise a medical education. People could die at your hands. You're absolutely right, sir. But as a field surgeon, it was more like being a butcher. Do you believe you have really helped these people? My ratings were within the averages of the regiment. I saved lives, Dr. Reed. Does that not say enough about triage and war surgery? Yeah, he's got a point. Let's have a look at the Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Okay, so I need... Oh, wait a minute. I need a few of those, didn't I? Okay, so let's confirm that. Uh, buy one of... Let's buy one of them. And let's buy one of them. Let's come back. So I have... This is a bit weird, sorry. I'm just trying to work out, am I to find them? Or do I actually have to... I have them, though. A for, de a for details. Doresa is a young doctor who has asked me to go out there and use my reputation to obtain some supplies. Uh, okay, so let's just try. Anyway, so I am now going off to... Oh! So I'm not going into what... I'm going this I'm way this time. Oh, it's a bit serious. So if I do meet anyone here, I've got to try and help them. Oh, God. She looks like she's back to death, which is not good. Before I go off and meet those guys, let's get myself some blood. Is despicable. Oh, wait a minute. So I'll go this way. Let's do that for a second. So he's a 14, so he's just a little bit better than I am. Can I just go round him? Him and his mates? Without causing myself any trouble? It looks like I can. I'd or step back, sir. Hey! Don't come no closer! That's what I'm doing. I'm not coming any closer. Not to you any... Oh, what's down there? That's not gonna work. I'm gonna end up in a big fight now. Okay. Oh, I've got the wrong other weapon, which is not good. That's not good. Let's get moving. Let's. Right, so his friend just stood there watching me kill him. Oh, God. This is not a place for you, sir. Right, let's try, let's try and get a little close and then. Just kill him quick, so it's out the way and done. Let's quickly grab him. I've right, got some bullets. So where's my? Th oh, so my sister's grave is close by. I'd step back, sir. Ah, this is not going to go well. Right, so I need to go over here. I need to do that, for it. Do that quickly for a second. Get this out. I need to change my weapon quickly if I can. Sorry about this, guys. I'm just thinking out loud. So I have no bullets at this minute, so...
darling. I do feel like I'm rushing the story at this minute, though. Because there could be a load more stuff for me to do. It's just I don't want to get into a mess load of fights with these... With these guys. Let's have a quick look around here, anyway. There was something down there earlier. No, it's just one of them. But I can hear the screams. Alright. Is there anything else around here? Okay, so let's just... Let's quickly make my way this way for a minute. My dear sister, I don't know if I have the strength. Got me. Somebody help. Okay, I need to do something quickly. But I need to do that. Got him, got him just before. Who are you? What do you want? Okay, so let's work out what's going on over here. Are you all right, Miss? I, I don't know. Who were those people? They, they, they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Shaoshun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Uh, let's have a look at her status. Is she healthy? She is healthy. I'm not going to eat her. I'm going to actually be a nice guy for once and try not to eat everyone I meet. Um... Can I... Oh, she's a bit better than me, so I'm going to say goodbye. Oh, wow. Well, that's not good. It's locked. Okay. Right, so... I've helped the widow in distress. Okay, so... Was that that one? I've done that one. I still haven't discovered who that person is yet. I've still got to do this one, though. I've got the ingredients, so I don't know what I've got to do after... Let me just be quick with myself. Let's do that. Then let's... Let's eat him. Quickly. And then let's eat him as well. Got him. keep away from him for a minute and then come over and oh he got me let's move got him I'm a little annoyed you only get 5 XP for killing these things because they are not easy oh I've got 10 no I killed them both so I've got something from him some shillings let's quickly eat the rat I can't believe I'm doing this uh, oh god. 
Alright, let's make sure I've got a shield. Let's move. Let's come over to here. Got him. Ah, he got me. Got him, though. Alright, so this is kind of worrying. We're in the graveyard where... Well, at least it looks like well, people are being eaten, which is not good. Especially if I'm meant to be meeting here with family. and oh, So I've got to go that way, but I just still want to go down this way for a second. Just to see what I can find. If there's anything of use, you know, anything useful that could be used and so on. See if there's Alright. Let's make my way up there. I've got this horrible feeling I'm about to walk into a boss fight. Of some sort. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. Avery, I leave you to care for my mother. I'm in no state to comfort her. Okay, so let's go up there. Let's make my way to somewhere where I might be a little bit more useful. Or at least I can stand and watch for the minute. Okay. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. So that must be his mother. Very old. She's very frail. Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, madam. Oh, Avery. I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> Okay, so Oh Mary. What have I done? If I could only change one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. Jonathan. There is nothing you can do, but accept it. Lady Ashbury. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. She was going to say, is, is this a, it sounds like a bad joke. Feel like a... She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. 
Her mind shattered, and... and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. Okay. I'm learning, I already know it. I'm learning. Every night is a new lesson. What I am, what I must do to survive. It's his voice. But my sister. She shouldn't have suffered because of my weakness. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. Uh, I'm not a religious man. You may be right. You may be right. Of course. I've stared Amen. upon this world for centuries. And time has taught me to deal with guilt, if not erase it. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Hmm. So it's telling me to go to a church. Okay, so what area am I technically in at this minute? Because I'm obviously in Whitechapel. Uh, sometimes these things... What's that over here? An event. An unknown event happened. Oh, I might have to go there. So what's this? Oh, let's go back. Uh, so what zoom in? Okay, zoom in. It's Dr. Swan. I might go to this unknown event actually. Let's see what that's over here, isn't it? Because I've met these people, so I know them, so I might go to this unknown event first. Erase that marker. That's the hospital. I'm going to find out what's going on there in a minute. I'm going to find out what this unknown event is before I go off and confess. not is it but you know what sometimes gentlemen will come along and Good, you got me good. Uh, he's quite immune to that one, so I should just use that, really. Got him. Did actually want to drink some of their blood, if I'm honest. Okay, so let's make my way way for a minute. Let's open this up. And off to church he goes. A newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn. You reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin. Forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me?
Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. Oh, that's weird. Who These is? immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Sorry, sir. No admittance. Step away! Uh, yeah, I am going to step away because that's not what I... Best be moving on. Yeah, that is what I'm doing. The safer places to be than here. with me. We have to stop it! Oh my god! Is that that I have... Oh, he threw something at me. So he's gonna be a bit difficult, I think. Oh! Oh god, he's gonna kill me if I'm not careful. Person is. Got him. This man stunned me with his faith. His crucifix. This is not good news. No, that's not. Okay, so let's keep that for the minute. Can I go this way, or is it locked? No, it's not locked, but there's an event. Where's that event? That's happening over there. So I'm going to skip. What's the condition? Serious, it's saying. So let's have a quick look at the people for a minute. Who is sick? I think I've got something for bronchitis. I haven't got anything for him, but I've definitely got something for him. Let's see if I can find him. I'll go to the unknown event as well, but... Is that the poet? No, it's the journalist. I might go that way in a second, but I just want to... You look so pale, my you lord. Would you like me to... No, I can't remember where he is now, which is the annoying part. You paid one way or another. Please, Joe. How long have we known each other? We even used to be neighbours for Christ. Let's have a look. Let's have a look so I can see some rats. I would eat him. I really would. He's Whose home have I just walked into? This is where he used to live, by the looks It's it. oh, locked, locked, all right. Okay. Okay. Well, I've definitely got the stuff I need. I, I think I need to talk to someone else. Now, is, is he in here? Uh-oh. Uh, 
I shouldn't have done that. There's one too many shots. I need to rebuild my blood. Gotta be careful with stuff like that. Ooh. Oh, kill. Oh, wait, here we go. I just need a bit more blood off you. Okay, so then let's go. I wish there was a block button. these stairs. What the hell am I going to find? She's level 24. I don't think I can take that on. But now the part of me wants to try. Will it let me just stun her? Should have hit her when I had the chance by the looks of it. Oh god, she puked on me. Ah! Okay, she killed me. I thought I was doing alright there a minute ago, but then... Okay, so I, I'm, I'm not going to play much longer. I think I'm going to... I've done a bit. So, basically, the nurse that was helping people was turned into a complete lunatic. So that's interesting. Alright, where... Where am I? Oh, it's got me going the other way. Alright, so anyway, I want to go investigate that unknown happenings anyway so and then I think I'm gonna go back to the hospital soon good evening Christina change your mind Mr. Reed Is there anything I can ask her whilst I'm here Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time, until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Nice get girl. Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Why this scepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? There's a point, actually. What do you know about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Two girls I know went to the dispensary yesterday. Nobody has seen them since. I worry about them, in case bad things happen. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Because oh, so these people are still dying. Oh, wow. All right, so anyway, I want to find out... Unknown events. Now, that could be where I was just a second ago, but I'm gonna... I think it was. 
lot of people are talking about this. Let's quickly have a look at this map. Yeah, that's like I'm not gonna do that. Distribute flowers at this hour of night. Alright, let's go back to I'm probably gonna fast forward this bit. Where do I go to the protection against malevolence and trickery? You are blinded by your false faith! Imprisoned by your daily routine. Okay, so let's go this way for a minute. Let's quickly just get this done. Oh, there is a an opening. Can he even enter a church if it's Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. You seem to me a good soul, vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be as silent as stone. I have one word for the departed. I have words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage. Yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? She was my sister. I just, just know I care. She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She was murdered. It was an accident. She... She has been laid to rest. She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I feel responsible. She died because of me. I feel... I wish I could forget all this. She died because of me. How do you think I feel? I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What words would you like to say to your poor sister? I promise I feel all of her. I swear it wasn't me. Please forgive me. I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. There. I confessed to that vicar. Do I feel better? Only time will tell. Uh, okay, so let's try and... Get out of here. Hopefully I can not get attacked by a load of people on the way back. Oh, what? Let's go 
Yeah, that way. The library! It's on to us! Keep running, 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 keep running. <laughs> yeah, are they following me? I think they are. Uh oh. oh I better take them on here. Oh no, they've left me, they left me alone. Okay, if I can get him from behind, that's gonna actually help me. Over there! <laughs> Go over here, go over here, go over here. What does that do again? And the bottom one. Okay, that's blood and. Oh. Okay. Alright. Gotta get blood, gotta get blood. God walks with me. Okay, get out of his. Uh, let's, let's heal myself, let's heal myself, let's heal myself. Okay, so that was a lot harder than I like that though. It means the game's gonna keep this uh gonna keep interesting for me. So let's work my way up here. I killed one up here as well, didn't I? So that is that is, oh, oh, is he still there? Okay, so let's do that for a minute and I need blood. I don't want to use my things again, so Die Vermin! Fight him. Let's get him again. Let's get him. Let's get more blood off him. And then let's try. Oof. So it's going to get harder. And the priests, I'll tell you what, they did not make that easy. So let's just be as quick as I can. Oh, nice breeze. looks like a demon. Fear be gone. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. Stop riddles. What are you? Tell me what you are. I am the whitened bones and blackened soil. The land made blood coursing through thy veins. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth. Serpent with iron spur. 
I've had enough of others making decisions for me. Pretending to know how I should feel or behave. Right. So okay. the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity. Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar. He's telling me I've got to go speak to him anyway, so I should... Violence breeds more violence. We are our city, God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember. I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. He looks like my character seems to be kind of more and more the vampire. Stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. I do need to speak to him about a couple of things though, don't I? Okay, so what happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. Confidence must be restored. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Oh, okay. I am your only hope again. I don't know how for this. You want to restore peace in the hospital again? Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? They will not attack. I will protect you. Well, they are not far wrong. The hospital is almost crawling with vampires. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Right, I need to talk to him again, though, because I think I've got If you me. don't mind, I have a few questions. Well, I'd be delighted to help you if I'm able. Okay. A most strange creature. Uh, to enter a church is difficult. Who is the man? What is... What exactly happened here while I was absent? Hampton turned, quite violently as it happened. Lurking about. Attacked Miss Jones. To say he created quite a commotion would be an understatement. How did the guard of Prewen come to hear of this? McCallum has spies everywhere. He will jump at any opportunity to disparage the Brotherhood and show his contempt. Are you sure it was Hampton who killed Miss Jones? There was blood everywhere, but no body. And you know the state she was in? I fear for what he did with her. Hopefully he just hid the corpse. 
I just recently met the strangest creature in Whitechapel. He was immense. He mocked me and accused me of hypocrisy. Perhaps it was a skull. London's streets are overflowing with them these days. It was a vampire. It was a vampire, all right. But what kind, I'm not sure. He was large and very fast. If you find anything more about this creature, the Brotherhood would greatly appreciate any information you could spare. He was observing me with the obvious intent to do me harm. His very presence evoked a palpable sense of menace. You need to be careful, Jonathan. You've no idea what this creature really is. Let's go back. Who was that man in your office? Jeffrey McCullum, actual leader of the Guard of Prewen. I suspect he's the man behind the rebirth of this old and dusty society. They know I'm here now, don't they? I understand your need for blood and will not get in your way. But if you could refrain from feeding within these walls, it would go a long way to defending your case. What do they hope to achieve? Their ultimate goal is the eradication of all vampires in the country. They see you as a threat to mankind, Jonathan. Let's go back and then... I recently tried to enter a church. It has been a very unpleasant experience. The Brotherhood's research on the matter of faith and vampirism has proved somewhat insubstantial to say the least is this proof that i'm cursed in the eyes of the divine the wrath of the almighty there's no way of knowing it could be subconscious guilt or irrational fear or deep-seated beliefs it's hard to explain in terms of science that's for sure i'm sure lady ashbury will have far greater insight into this matter than little old me Thank you, Edgar. Right, so I just want to find something out here. Right. So... Let me make why he did... Uh. Right. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Oh, the pain. It's there oh again. wow. What on earth happened here? Oh, she here? Miss Ashbury. Oh, did the screen just go funny there, guys? Is there anything I'm missing? Oh, Jonathan, I cannot believe my eyes, poor woman. Butchered by some savage scal. I'm partly responsible. If he dies. Yes. And I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. The man, the scal, I brought him here. Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. For there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Is this a sign? The hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Okay, so... What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? 
He was huge. He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather outdoing his master's bidding. What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. Okay. Have you embraced this woman like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield? Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life unless they ask. Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon. Okay. All right. So let me go back here for a second. Let me, let me come out here for a second. Let me go back to my investigations. Because I've got the stuff. I've already got that. Gather the information for the formula. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You have supervisor sell the branch. Uh, the doctor here is why he has asked me to. Okay, so let's track that one for a minute. If I remember rightly, that is. Okay, so. Am I. Okay, so who am I going here for? Is it upstairs? Sure, we're making a difference. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Uh, personal question. Okay, let's go back. Life in London. Let's go back. Can you tell me anything about the recent commotion in the hospital? I'm sure it was not your fault, Dr. Reed. My fault? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. It's just. I heard it was you who brought the murderer inside our walls. But you couldn't know, could you? Okay, this is game. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. As... Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Uh, good question. Let's go back. Get a personal question. Okay, so... Please, tell me about the recent end this soon, in the correct? hospital. I heard Miss Jones too long, call for help from her bedroom. There were some loud noises, like people fighting. All of a sudden, it went quiet. And then the nurse started screaming. Do you know who the nurse was? Not sure. But I think it was Nurse Hawkins. Okay, let's go back. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. I will not let you down, my boy. Right. With you at our side, Dr. Reed. I know that Pembroke will prevail and survive this epidemic. Hawkins. So many deaths. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Uh, what can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? Everybody's afraid. Death has always been a frequent visitor. But murder? How can we cope with that? As a nurse at this hospital, it is your duty to deal with these things as best you can. Yeah. Until it's my turn to have blood spread all over the walls. I entered the room first, Dr. Reed. I've seen what that monster did to the woman. Yeah, but... Oh, wait a minute, what's this? What steps are you prepared to take to feel more useful? I don't know yet. My sister believes that the real fight is in the streets nowadays. Maybe she's right. Maybe this is what I must do. 
If you feel that saving lives is not useful enough, perhaps it means that you've lost faith. On the contrary, my faith has never been stronger. Maybe we are all just too proud to face up to the fact that science cannot compete with God. Oh, that's interesting. Milton cheats patients out of their money at this hospital, Pippa. Are you his accomplice? Yes, I am. Is this your definition of being useful? By abusing the sick and poor? No. It is my definition of getting out of this useless life once and for all. Why do you do it? Why not? Most of the sick who paid for a bed are already dead. Or will be soon. Don't you see the futility of all this? Who is, who is the real you? You put from. How can you be affected by the misery around you and be so heartless at the same time? Which is the real you, Nurse Hawkins? I could ask you the same question, Dr. Reed. Are you more real when you lie to a dying patient or when you're granting useless medication? Whose idea was it? What difference does it make? We did it together. And I'm guilty as charged. Answer my question. It was my idea first. Even though Milton would say it was his. To protect me. Okay, let's just come out. Goodbye, so. Nurse Hawkins. Right. So I just want to check something on my map for a minute, guys. So. I keep doing that. Well, let's zoom out again. Okay, so that's it. So I've got to go this way now, so... Alright, so I'm going towards the docks. When I come out... Alright, I think that's the area where I fought him, his mate before. So there is an event going on over here. Let's, let's zoom in. We should gather the ingredients and formulate the medication. So I've got to go somewhere in this hospital to create something, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Sorry, I am gonna end this in a minute, guys. Sorry. Sorry if I don't see myself. I think I'm a little tired, and but just too stubborn to quit playing. Um. Okay. So is it something here I need to do? It's locked. Go over here. Is there a place where I analyze the blood? Is that? Ah, yeah, Strickland's there is. project could be dangerous. I have a mind to report him to Dr. Ackroyd. Let me come over here. So, can I make something else now? Boo, no, I can't. Okay, let's, let's make that. Let's come down here. Uh, well, we get. Do I have any of these? Well, I do now. Just in case I meet anyone else. Okay. Right, choose about be okay, so I am gonna go off and do this mission quick. I've gotta hurry up because I've got to do some editing as well, guys. <laughs> I hope you've been enjoying watching these series anyway, guys. Sorry I've been a bit quiet. It's a little tired, so uh, that's all I needed to do, and I'm there. Alright, let me make oh what's over here? Yeah. Oh well, I'm gonna speak to him. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? I have I have I have managed to improve the mixture by diluting it. Have you ever heard of Sir Joseph Francis Olive? Or the placebo effect? No, I don't think so. Why? A placebo is a substance or procedure that has no actual physical effect. You made a placebo of my project. Why? Research has established that a placebo, as long as the subject believes in the effect, can provoke a positive physiological reaction. Really? That's fascinating. And you want me to, what, administer the placebo and see what occurs? Something like that, yes. Well, I'm a bit surprised, but I trust you, Dr. Reed. Please take the key to my cabinet and put this placebo there for future use. Okay, personal question. Let's come back out. Let's come back Goodbye, out. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. 
treats me like a book. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Uh... What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? Nothing like this would have happened if we'd had enough staff and proper shifts. So you don't think the blame is ours? We all hold fast here, Dr. Reed. Our methods may differ, but we are all trying to make a difference. Oh, that's good. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Alright, so where's this medical put? So is it this way? Or am I going upstairs? I'm going upstairs. Okay, so let's go upstairs quickly. And then I'll make that the end. And well, level up some stuff and then I'll make that the end. I did not want this video to be as long as it has been. Not as much has happened in this one as I maybe would like. I should start eating more people, really. Um, but I haven't, so let's... Ooh. Okay, let's go over here. Let's see what things I can find that I probably shouldn't be looking at. Oh, what's this over here? Damn. It's locked. Damn, damn, damn. At least Strickland can't kill anyone with this formula. Okay, let's move away over here. It's locked, locked, all right. It's locked. Uh. Okay. Oh, okay, so I've got... Okay, guys, I promise I am literally going to do what I, I intend to do in a second, which is end the game, but I am finding some investigations going on, so I need to talk to certain people quickly. That might give me some more XP, and more XP means I can level up a little bit more other stuff. I've just got a funny feeling where I'm not eating people. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? I heard shouting coming from the first floor. I was asleep when it started. Okay, so let's ask a personal question. Okay, let's go that way. Let's go life in London. Your medical report says you're not affected by the Spanish flu. What do you think of that, Mortimer? Does it make me happy? Not in the slightest. If it was up to me, I would have left this place long ago. I know I don't belong here. And why do you think you don't belong here? I know the staff have more important things to do than look after me. There's plenty of patients here who need their attention. Okay. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. You down, my boy. Oh, I swear I saw something shining on the floor there. That might have just been them with the light. Okay, so I am going to finish it there, guys. Very sorry. It's taken me this long. Not sure what to call this one. So let's make my way over here. I still would like to know how to make the headache stuff. Treatment for... Because uh, if I can start treating that, there'll be certain people that will be better off. Anyway, I need to rest. Let's try and see what I can upgrade. Can I upgrade my shield? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's all two hits. I think after that, though, I am going to start upgrading these as well. Again. Is it, it's not another 300, though, is it? It's 600 now, so the bike would do a bit more damage. Body condition, that would be 600 with an extra 150. Stamina, okay, yep. Black capacity, yep. So I've got to build this up at some point as well. But I'm thinking I might need some other powers. Right, let me have a look at this one for a second. What, what would I need for that? 
A thousand. Yeah, I probably need to... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, do you want to cancel? No, I don't want to cancel. I want to confirm what's just happened. And now I'm going to say, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. If you'd like to leave a comment, everyone is a... Uh, I've got to, oh, I've got to go to that area anyway at some point. Oh, more people getting sick. This isn't good. They're in really, they were in critical. I'm gonna have to go there just to. Uh, but I can't do anything for the head. I'm probably gonna give him something for fatigue. Gotta give him something for fatigue. Gonna give him something for fatigue as well. Gotta find him so I can give him something for the. Uh, any details on this lady? Oh, there's hidden some hidden lock things, but okay. But yeah, if I can make them well, she's not missing. She's a dirty monster. Okay, so if you've enjoyed this video, please click like, guys. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. Everyone is welcome. I would much appreciate. Oh, because the uh, has gone back to. Okay, I might have to talk to her as well. Eh? If you like this video, please click like. I like doing these videos. I hope you enjoy watching them, guys. I do enjoy playing them. If, I think this game is very fun. I know tonight I was a little tired, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching me play, but you may not have. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a good day, and goodbye.